So I keep getting people asking me this question, you know, if I made my own particular Linux distribution, my own particular GNU slash Linux distribution, what would it look like? What kind of applications would come installed by default? What would be the defining features of DT's OS? And I think that's a great question because I tell you guys all the time that so many GNU slash Linux distributions out there have absolutely no reason to exist. They don't do anything to differentiate themselves from anybody else. They're just respins of Ubuntu or respins of Arch Linux with a different desktop environment, different wallpaper, different GTK themes. But other than that, they're all the same. They really don't do anything groundbreaking. And if I were going to create my own Linux distribution, and I'm not going to because I don't want to be anybody's support channel, <laughs> so I'll never do this, but if I did create my own distro, I would want to do some radically different things with it. And I can tell you one of the things I'm really interested in, and I don't know why somebody hasn't done this already, is why are we still using Bash as our default shell on Linux? I mean, for the most part, the default system shell is always Bash or Dash or, you know, some other POSIX compliance shell, but typically it's Bash. The user shell sometimes is not Bash, sometimes it's ZSH, but 95% of the time it's also Bash. Why don't we move to Fish? I think everybody acknowledges that Fish is the best shell available on Linux. We know that, right? I don't think it's, it's not debatable. But why are we still using Bash? <laughs> so I would definitely, on DT's OS, I would try to make the default system shell and definitely the default user shell fish. And if it required me to rewrite a whole bunch of system scripts and everything to make it work with fish, so be it. Somebody needs to do that at some point, though I'm surprised nobody, especially some of the bigger Linux distributions that have the resources to do so, they need to be pushing fish as a new modern shell for the 21st century. Nobody should be using bash, which is ancient. Nobody should be using ZSH, which is ancient and also kind of slow once you had all the plugins to it. You know, like Mac OS, they moved to ZSH from bash. That doesn't make any sense. If you were actually gonna move to something, Mac OS should have went to fish. I don't know why they didn't, so. That's the one big thing I would do in DT's OS. The other big thing I would do is my packaging format. And I know this is gonna make some people mad. The packaging format I would choose to use would be app image. I would try to package everything in DT's repository as an app image. You know why? Because not only would it work in DT's distribution, it would work on everybody's distribution. Everything I package for DT OS, I would be packaging it for every GNU slash Linux distribution because my packages will work on your distribution as well and it, it just makes complete and total sense. Why isn't anybody doing this? So that's uh, two of the more radical ideas I have about DT's OS. For those of you wondering about desktop environments and window managers, of course, you know, I would probably either base off of Xmonad or Qtile because I like those particular desktop environments. Uh, they would be great for programming environments, especially if you were a Haskell developer or a Python developer. So I would probably do that. I think I would probably also make my distribution very Emacs centric. Of course, you know, if you wanted to use Vim and DT's OS, Vim will be there too, and I'll even have it configured for you. <laughs> like, Vim will not be a second-class citizen, but we'll definitely have Emacs on the system, and it'll be heavily configured and ready to go with a, a million extensions, and we're just going to bloat the place up. As far as a default terminal emulator... You know, I want to say alacrity, but if we're going to be a rebel, right? <laughs> if we're going to do something really different, because DT's OS needs to be different, I think my default terminal emulator would probably just be the eShell and Emacs. <laughs> That's where I want to go with this. Yeah, I'm getting a little crazy here, but really, you know, I'm, I'm putting these thoughts out there. I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to make an ISO of my own, and I'm, I'm, so don't even ask me. But I wish other people would. And some of these ideas are not crazy. I want one of you guys that are developing your own Linux distribution. 
would you please try to make fish the default system shell? I think that would be really interesting. And would more of you guys start pushing app image? I mean, it just makes total sense. I know not everybody's, you know, gonna want to move to Xmonad and Emacs and things like that. I get that. But at least give us fish and app images. If you can do that, that'd be great. Anyway, let me get out of here, guys. Peace.